Hey guys, welcome back to Royal Appleberry's channel and today I am making another custom order. I have been getting some amazing custom orders and this is a second one from Michael for his wife and I am like so super duper pleased that he asked me to make this. This one is going to be a uh, cucumber melon and <clears throat> Um, he kind of put gave me some input of what he wanted for his wife or well, what she wanted So she wanted to go with some greens and whites of course And then we're gonna do some exfoliant and then I was left to come up with the rest and I'm super excited because I love doing like collaborations with my customers because we just come up with some amazing things and I'd love to see the creativity that you all have and what you can come up with of course you know I'm all about coming up with surprises for you all and hoping that you like it and I've been so fortunate that I've had no one say you know what this sucks I don't want it <laughs> and hopefully I never will but um, I'm just like super duper pleased uh, that he and his wife loves my soaps enough that they keep coming back for custom orders. That means so much to me. Michael, big hugs to you and your wife. I thank you so much for always allowing me to create beautiful soaps for you all. All right. And here is, <laughs> I asked Hunter if she want a sip, which I was just joking because I have my fragrance oil in a little plastic champagne glass. Um, I didn't celebrate or drink loads of champagne on New Year. Um, I actually use these as like a pedestal stand. Maybe I'll show you guys how to do that for like my craft fair. I glued it to the back of a, um, a platter, a silver platter and turned it upside down. So that's what I used it for. I wasn't getting plastered. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put my fragrance oil in now just because trying some new stuff. Uh, this fragrance oil was said to have no acceleration. None of those things. It soaked pretty well. So um, this is not from Rustic Essential. So, I know a Rustic Essential, I can just dash them in there, no worries, but, um, this one, I read the reviews, and it seemed to have great reviews, so I'm going to go ahead and use it, and, um, yeah, get that all in there, all right, I think, no, it's not melting, I'm like, is that melting the cup, but anyway, go ahead and toss that, it smells delicious, so, uh, when you say melon, uh, cucumber melon, um, you can go with, it could be cucumber watermelon, it could be cucumber honeydew, it can be cucumber uh, cantaloupe. So, they're all melons. So, I decided to kind of go with all three as far as, far as color scheme. Uh, Michael's wife already had the green and white, so I decided to, um, I'm going to add um, some green here. Do a little bit of uh, like a raspberry pink and some orange. So, you know, the green is for the rind, um, if it was a watermelon, or it could be for the honeydew, the raspberry pink could be for watermelon, um, this could be for your cantaloupe, and then I decide I want to do a dash of dark green, just a tiny bit, just to kind of liven things up, and then I'm going to do some white, and then I made some little soap balls, which I've never made these before, I see lot. <laughs> did I just really do that? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> Let me go rinse this off. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, it seems like the antics and follies have, have begun already. <laughs> I was going to say before I threw that inside of my uh, soaping oils and lye that I see many soapers use these and I found my mole at a pretty good price on Etsy. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to get it. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but it'll come in handy for something. And the reason why um, I wanted to... What is this laminus? <sighs> I just stick wind out, but that's crazy. Yeah, I've had that happen before in one of my other soaps, but it'll stick blend out just fine. But anyway, um, yeah, I decided to use uh, the pink and the orange, and those could be like little melon balls, say some watermelon uh, balls and some cantaloupe balls. So that was the idea I had there, and this is gross looking. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, that's not very appealing. Hopefully you guys aren't getting an eyeful of what I'm seeing because that is kind of nasty looking. But anyway, yeah, I'm very excited to make this. I think it's going to turn out really, really pretty. I'm going to do a drop swirl, of course, because that's what I've been doing a lot lately, a drop swirls. So I'm going to go ahead and stick blend this. Um, did I already stick blend this? No. No, I'm not going to stick blend it just yet because I want to be able to stick blend my colorants 
Yeah, and hopefully that sliminess is gone. Yeah, it's pretty much gone. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour these off. I'm going to pour these off and stick blend them, and then I'll just come back instead of boring you guys to wood. So, see you in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I have all of my colorants mixed in here. So, um, are you thickening up? No. All right, I put my poppy seeds in here, and I think um, the reason why I chose poppy seeds is because I want the black speckles to, like, emulate, I guess, like a watermelon seed, since I am using a watermelon color for this fragrance as well so I only put the poppy seeds in the white I think it's going to complement the soap lovely okay so here's all my colorants mixed up and there's my green my darker green <coughs> so now we're gonna get the mold and start filling it up <coughs> excuse me after I clean up this table all right let's see get the wet mold I need to wash all my molds because they're all dirty this was the last clean one that I had. I'm going to move that light. Let's see how can I get it where you guys, yeah, like that, but. Bleh. Yeah, let's not put that in the camera. <laughs> I think you guys can see that pretty good. Move it down just a wee bit so you can see inside the mold. All right, there we go. I think everything's situated perfectly. So I'm just going to put a little stream of. Uh, white and then we'll just keep pouring until we have nothing left which I do believe I want to save some white for the top I haven't decided yet um, probably I'll probably just use need a little bit I'm not gonna make the entire top of this soap white <coughs> so let's start with just a little bit of stream just like that um, that's a big stream and then I will just pour 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 I don't know which colors I'm going to, what order I'm going to go in, but let's see. Now, hopefully I can get these to pour in like little rivulets because I do, I didn't make very much of this. I just want it as kind of like a, just a pop, you know, not too much of uh, this color showing up in the soap. So hopefully I'll um, have just enough to do that. Just to, you know, even if I did that, I'm okay with it. Because I don't want a lot of this color, which I think that's going to be brilliant looking. I really do. Alright, so now next, I think we'll go with some pink. I think my colors are trying to, yeah, they are trying to thicken up on me. You better calm down. <laughs> Alright, that stirred out fine, just fine. I don't need anything thickening up on me. This is like the second soap I've made of the year that wanted to kind of thicken up just a wee bit. And I mean, this one is very, very fluid. But you know how I normally, my soap uh, batters normally are. They're very, very loose. So, oh, well, but everything's going to work out just fine. He sure is. So, start up high. Watch the light. Oh, I think this is going to be lovely, y'all. I do. I think this is going to be absolutely lovely. I can see it already. Just color combinations. So I think I need to stir out everything as I'm going. Well, I may not need to. Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. Yep. Just because I don't need any thick plops falling out. And I mean, once I get to the top, and if it does, then that's fine. But right now, I would like for everything to stay in small rivulets. Yes, I would. I gotta do my lye, master batch my lies. I only master batch my oils, but I gotta do my lies just because I'm on my last uh, container of lye. So, wouldn't want to run out. I Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. I just feel it. Can you guys even see in there? And I'm like really um, pushing it here, putting this camera so close. So hopefully I don't pour it on my camera. Yep, if I could just keep getting little thin streams like that, that would be love. It really would. Because I think that's really going to make the soap very delicate. The swirls in it very delicate. <clears throat> so, yeah, soap. Please just keep working with me. Thank you. I can turn it back this way until I get that green in, and then I'll turn it around.
Actually, guys, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and um, do this one with um, a little bit of music. I'm going to fast forward and pour until I get to the top. And then I will come back and chat it up with you all before I get finished. that I think this is going to look amazing honestly I do think it is the colors are just so vibrant and they just <coughs> oh that's not what I was going to say but they have like such a great marriage um I'm really really happy with the way these colors are just playing against one another and especially even with the white with the poppy seeds looks amazing guys looks amazing okay so now that I'm down to the bare bones here I gotta get a spatula I just didn't I figure you know what I'm just pouring okay <laughs> and I know a lot of times I talk through all that but I didn't have a whole lot to talk about this time which is shocking to some of you I know but oh wow sometimes we go through that but um of course oh that's just I love this soap Michael mm -mm -mm. I might just have to steal this idea and put this in my shop I'm just telling you now <laughs> because I really like the way this looks it's just so tropical and um, our weather just here in Michigan has been I mean absolutely amazing up until today um, it's kind of crap outside it really is first it rained and then it snowed so um, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow's drive in to work not at all but anyway um, yeah I'm just this soap has put me in a really really good mood it really really has because these colors are just way too brilliant not to be in a good mood I'm telling you guys so I'm gonna save a little bit for the top um yeah just a little of each for the top and then um we will go ahead and put our little bowels little selfie balls on top of that and then well no not yet I'm going to do some swirling of these colors I'm not just gonna leave it like this in this big old mound nope not gonna do it okay so put a little bit of green yeah okay put most of that in the middle <laughs> so dumb all right and then I'll put some of this green which honestly no I'll just save just a, a little bit of this for the top as well may as well okay so now I think I need just a little splash of white across all of that. Just like that. <laughs> that I don't know. That reminds me of like a really colorful salad. <laughs> but it looks so good. I just love, love, love these colors. So I am going to take a skewer and um, just kind of mix these colors in on the top because they're just kind of all sitting on top of one another. They didn't go down. Oh, I didn't even see that I made a mess. I am... I think this is my first mess of 2016 <laughs> but um yeah I'm gonna bang this down first and then I'll um or should I maybe I should not okay I'm gonna bang it down I'm not gonna use a skewer just yet eh, I'll just see how it goes be back in a second All 
right. Now, one thing that I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer. I'm kind of concerned about is like sometimes with other companies colorants, um, they'll fade out. You know, you see how vibrant these colors are right now. I just hope that they keep their vibrancy and don't fade out and get kind of, you know, like a soft, soft peach, uh, or like a very, very light green. I want them to stay as bold as they are. And hopefully it will. Okay. Um, but I, I've had many times where I've actually made soap and use bold colors and then like by the time it's for me to cut them I'm like um is that the same soap <laughs> so hopefully we don't get any of that because that's most certainly not what I want so I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle all the rest of these colors on pretty much like I just did yeah I didn't want to swirl it because I want the them to stay as like a drop swirl all right so I'm just scooping all of this out and thank you all for joining me today greatly appreciate it and i just love 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 uh you all so much i keep saying that but i'll never stop saying it like i post my first video of 2016 and so you're like i need more <laughs> i'm like hold on hold on i'm coming <laughs> so that was awesome thank you guys so much that just makes me feel so grand you know because after you take a break off you're just like nah, i'm kind of enjoying this break <laughs> but i said no <laughs> let me get back to soap making because i do love it i'll never give it up ever so actually i'm not gonna put that on yet i'm gonna put my greens on just switched up just a little bit but um for those of you who are new first time to my channel welcome so glad to see you here greatly appreciate you tuning in and if you made it this far why don't you just go ahead and hit that subscribe button i wait you see it it's like right there just go go ahead and click that right there yeah okay good and uh, <laughs> by you doing that, you will become a part of my stinking awesome crew. Yeah, I do have a crew. And also, you will get notifications of whenever I post videos. So, you'll be the first of many, many, many to know. But at least you will know instead of like, hmm, when's the last time she made a video? Let me go check. So, that's a great thing of subscribing, you know. You always know when I post new videos. And also, I do have a second channel. Yes, I self-promote myself to death. I sure do. Mm -hmm. If I don't, who will? But <laughs> it's called Unconventional Kenny. Um, once again, that's unconventional. I don't know what I just said a second ago. But be sure to go over there and check it out. It is in the description box below. The link to get over there. There's some fun stuff going on. A lot of fun, silly challenges. Uh, stuff to make you laugh and make me look like a fool. But... <laughs> It was all a good fun, so <laughs> most definitely go over there and subscribe. Subscribe. I keep saying to subscribe, yeah. Go over there and subscribe. I can't talk. And um, uh, make sure you give me thumbs up, too, because those are greatly appreciated. And if you do like this video and this soap, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated to tell me that you do so, okay? All right. So now that I got all that fun stuff out of the way, I'm going to continue to scrape, 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 scrape. That is so cool, man. I'm telling you, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Can't you tell I love it? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, no, I think I'm going to, well, I guess I'll just kind of play. I still have a little bit more white that I can play around with. So I'm just drizzle a little bit on there. I am so glad I put those poppy seeds there because they just look amazing. They are popping like poppy seeds do. Another bad joke. First bad joke of 2016. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> did you guys hear the, uh, the peanut gallery back there? <laughs> Hunter said I suck. <laughs> no, she's just, uh, upset because my jokes are way cooler than hers. I'm her mom. But anyway, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like filling this soap, these colors. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm in love y'all. Absolutely. So yeah, Michael, um, <laughs> you just might see this in my store. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm kind of telling you in advance because this soap looks amazing, these colors. I won't use the same fragrance, I promise. Um, unless, unless I'm asked to and then they can just say all thanks go to you because you did inspire this. You and your wife, you inspired this soap. So, most definitely. Hugs and kisses to you for the great starter idea and us working together and come up with these brilliant colors. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So let's get these greens. Let's the last bit of green on here. And then we will do some white. And then we will commence putting the little balls all over the place. And then there's going to be tons of glitter. 
you best believe there's going to be tons and tons of glitter. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> but, um, uh, I don't know why I have not picked up my glitters already. Shame, shame. But I am going to most definitely be adding glitter. Okay. Okay. So, that's the last bit of that green. Oh, it's kind of warm in here. I'm not looking forward to going out and shoveling the snow. Nope. Not, no, no parts of me. Mm -mm. Isn't that right, Hunter? And silence is golden when you ask your child something <laughs> they don't want to do, which is chore related. So, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I just kind of want to go out and get some of it up because I know if it does it all night and trying to get out early in the morning, it's not going to be fun. So, figure just get some of it out the way. But anyway, all right, so this is my last bit of white. Oh, I love, love, love this. I do, I do, I do. All right, so I'm thinking that, hmm, no, I was going to say save just this last bit of white so when I start to swirl it or lift the sides up to texture it, um, I might have a little to put on top, but you know what, I don't think I need it, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it all. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and use it all. <sighs> Man. Okay, again, I told you guys my camera has a mind of its own. I guess I say, you know what? I'm full. I'm out of here. So, it's not like the memory card is full. It'll just like around 25 minutes, it'll decide to just cut off. Thanks so much, memory card. But anyway, I'm back. So, I am going to use the skewer just to kind of mush all this around. Just like that. And then, I will clean up the sides. Oh, that's pretty. It sure is. I kind of don't think I need the little gumball thingies, but I'll place some just to see how it looks. And then I'll decide whether or not I'm going to put them on there. But I'm kind of loving the way this looks without it. Let me tap this down. Okay, that's good enough. So, clean up those sides again. And then... I will do some texturing, texturing, texturing. Oh, these are brilliant, 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 brilliant colors. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna use those um, gumballs. This just might be a little bit too much. Oh, that looks delicious. It looks like sherbet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks just like and tasty sherbet. Yep, it sure does. And it's still kind of, you know, and it just something how like when you're pouring your soaps, it just kind of thickens up and turns into flops instead of riblets. But then when you try to texture, it's too loose to texture. And it real, just real cute. Mm -hmm, sure is. Not funny. You're not. Not at all. But, um, that's okay because this is looking pretty darn good, I think. All right. Yep. I love that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Now. No, 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 no. What are we going to do next? Gosh darn it. Now, why did I go and do that? Okay, Kenny. Stop it. All right. So now, let's see. Let's just see if we put some gumballs on top. Would that just be too much? Nope. It won't. It's going to be perfect. All right, now I just need to um, get some measurements, some space for measurements, because I don't have any of where my cut lines are going to be. So, let me see, is that one? Yep. Okay, so, let's see. I think I'll la, 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 la. do there and there. Yep. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's gonna be like super stinking cute. Isn't it guys? In it? In it? Mm hmm Okay. I think I'm going to alternate these little bowls. Oh, that's so stinking cute, man. This one I did not trim. I'm just, I'm like really afraid to let go of this um this uh jar stick. <coughs> 
this ruler this is not a yardstick okay I'm trying to get this off oh geez okay you know guys i'm just gonna give you a little bit of music till i get these plopped on it's me trying to hold this on and talk and do all this stuff at the same time it's not really working out okay so i'll be back with chatter be back in a minute So now that I have that on, those are really cute. I was thinking I would be just, just too much, but I think this is absolutely adorable. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I should have just made a whole bunch and filled the whole top with them, but did not do that too well. Um, but what I will do for my ends, since I do have some extra pieces left here, I keep pushing these down in the soap. I don't like to waste, so... I'll go ahead and use those. See? Let me give that a mush over. Get over, please, and thank you. Yeah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. All right, so now everything just feels like it's too close. All right, now let me find what glitter I'm going to use. <coughs> I'm sorry about the throat clearing. I'm going to use some pretty, pretty, pretty hot pink here. <clears throat> and also, let's see what else I got. I got some white. So maybe we'll do white, hot pink, and some green. Let me find the green. Yep. Whenever customers tell me that I can go nuts with the glitter, guess what? I go nuts with the glitter. <laughs> because I got the red light. So I just got to find the perfect melon color glitter. Let me see if I have any. I do believe I have some. The thing is, where is it? Um, okay. Fun time. Okay, I'm going to try a wee bit of this. Color here, not too much. Oh yeah, that's, that's nice. It is nice. Sure is. Oh, this is adorable, guys. And I'm not going to put any alcohol. I notice whenever I put gosh darn alcohol in my soaps, I get crazy soda ash. So, <laughs> and alcohol is supposed to stop your soaps from getting soda ash, but I get the exact opposite. So, I will not be putting any alcohol on this one. Nope, sure won't. That's my Indiasia. I gave that a heavy dose of alcohol and guess what? Soda ash. So, ooh, that's a lot. It sure is, but it makes it wonderful. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it, love it. And guess what? I got one more color to go. So, yeah, this one is going to be a nice bedazzled one. Sure is. Just trying to get into those edges. All right. Can't forget about the edges. Okay. Now, the hot pink. Ooh, I'm so excited about this one. Mmm, look at that. Is that not gorgeous or what, y'all? Love it. This one is Bubblegum Pink from Penny Ray. She is uh, dye some glitters and more. She is um, on a Facebook group. You can find her there. But this, this glitter, man, let me tell you. Mm -mm -mm. It's just, it's, it's working for me, y'all. It is working for me. All right, I think that's enough because I don't want to take away from the beautiful colors that are under there, even though it looks like I already have, but I did not, I promise you. Okay, let me go ahead and clean this up, and then I will show you up close what we have. I love this. Yes, I do. So, this, again, is cucumber melon, which looks like fruit salad. Makes me want to get a spoon and take a little nibble. But, of course, I won't be doing that. Nope, sure won't. Don't feel like sitting in the air. Mm -mm. Okay, so, it's all cleaned up. I will show you up close. Michael, I hope your wife loves this as much as I do because I love this so much that I do plan to make another one of these. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Isn't that gorgeous, guys? And the little balls are so cute. Okay, if my camera, well, when I upload this, if it'll just go ahead and take a screenshot of that so it could be my thumbnail, that would be great. Okay? <laughs> Alright guys, if you enjoyed this so please do be sure to give it a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. Again, if you've made it this far and you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated that you would do that. So that you join my family of my cool, cool, cool subscribers and come back over and over again. So guys, until the cutting video, which there will be a cutting video. There's always a cutting video. <laughs> um, I will see you later. Always, always, always remember to be amazing and awesome at everything you do. And always keep it positive. Okay, until next time, guys. Bye for now.